<laughs> what is your who, like? What made you decide to take part in the Miss SA competition? I think that's a twofold answer because when I was much younger, I watched Claudia Hinkle be crowned, mm -hmm. and I remember saying to my mom, "I hope I grow that tall," but I didn't. <laughs> but at least I still got to grow tall enough, and I wanted to enter then because of all the glitz and glamour, and you look at it, and it just looks so beautiful and amazing. And then growing up, um, my family is very big into charity and giving back, so I grew up with that background, and I always knew I wanted to give back to my country, give back to my community, and so doing my South Africa could help me with the platform just to do that. Of course. And uh, it's obviously also important to be involved in charities. Yes. What are some of the charities you're involved in and why those specific ones? So I graduated last year in April and I wasn't ready to go into the working environment and I decided to do a lot of volunteer work. So I, I came across I, an NPO called Babies Behind Bars okay. and that's an NPO very close to my heart. I worked with them for the rest of the year and it was just beautiful to see that even though these children were in prison with their mothers, that their faces lighted up every time we went there and I knew that I was making a difference in someone's life. Mm -hmm. They might not remember that difference but I'm glad that I could have made that mm -hmm. difference. And also I started my own NPO much later on in the year just after working with so many organizations I just felt the need to do something for my community as well. That NPO is called The Pearl Project and the reason why I chose that name is because no two pearls are the same. Okay. And that's what I teach the young girls of El Dorado Park in Soweto area is that never strive to be exactly like someone. Never strive to be them because there's no way you're going to pull it off. Of no two pearls are the same and it goes the same for us. You have to embrace who you are and what you are and then take it from there. It's important to do like to have role models, as you say, but you can't be exactly, exactly like Exactly like them, that's so correct. So would you say your role model was Claudia Henkel then? Who, was your, who were your role models? Yes, um, Claudia Henkel. Obviously I looked at her, those sparkly eyes. She has the most beautiful eyes. Uh -huh. the most beautiful smile and also my grandmom she's a very selfless person she's helped so many people in our area mm -hmm. and growing up you don't really understand it because you're young and you just feel oh come here so we want to make beans weg but um, <laughs> only when you get much older you understand that it's about helping your fellow man mm -hmm. and for me I always look up to her and remember that she helped so many people and that's why her blessings came in abundance okay. later on in life now, the night that you were crowned, we had a chat and you said the only thing you wanted to do at that stage was just give your mommy a hug. I yes. like that sound was just the best sound ever. <laughs> Did you do it? Like, how was that? Like, right after you were crowned? So, oh. after I was crowned, um, I didn't know that they took my family backstage. So, I stood on stage and I was scouting through, thinking, where are my, where's my friends? Where's my mom? Where's my grand? And when I finally got backstage, my mom was there and she was freaking out more than I was. <laughs> so, I definitely had to give her a hug just to calm her down. That's but that so was an amazing cool. feeling. Thank <laughs> you.